And then this guy last night, I was playing it and I got a little frustrated. So I maybe I'll play it, maybe not. Um, I'll explain what happened once we get started here. This is the one I'm going to start with. It is an adolescent. And for some reason, people really like to really like to gang up on this one. I don't know why. It feels like um, when people see it, they just want to kill it. So I very rarely get to fill the bonus bar on this one. So we walk up. Does it play or near home cave exit? Do we stay or do we go? Um... Let's just leave. Now it's telling me to gather lychee. I know that is this direction. So what happened last night with that Alberta Ceratops was that I got attacked by a Meg. Megs Megalania are like my least favorite. I feel like someone's here. My least favorite of all. I hate Megalania. I hate. Well, I never played them, but I hate being attacked by a Megalania because it's. To me, the Megalania just feels like a cheese. It's just like a cheat. The poison kills your stamina. It doesn't let your stamina regen. So. You're fighting the Megalania. It's killing your stamina. And with no stamina, you can't run, you can't walk, you can't attack. So quite literally, you get a few bites of the poison and you're trying to run or fight back. And your stamina drains and never comes back. And you're just standing there. And it's like, okay, well, here I am standing here. You've poisoned me to where I can't do anything. I guess I'll just let you kill me then. I'll just lay down and let you kill me. Because what other choice is there? There is no other choice because there's no stamina regen and stamina is everything. So, so last night it got attacked by a Megalania. I got frustrated and it's, I'm, it's just... And then the other thing when, in this game when you die, you get sent back to just some random location I really, 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 really wish... I don't have any problem with it spawning you far away from where the um, altercation was. That's awesome. That's fine. But I don't like is that it doesn't spawn you in a home cave. Because what will happen is, like last night I got frustrated. And I was just like, okay, screw this character. I'm not, I'm not playing it anymore. But... an aloe, you know. Oh no, it's that Baby Rex, Das. I don't know if he uh, plans on messing with me. I think I can outrun him. I get frustrated with the character I just want to I just want to quit so if I was in my home cave then no problem I could just quit but when it spawns you just in the middle of nowhere I've at least got to get it back to a home cave to log out or I'll have no bonus next time baby I mean we aren't much better but um, I need lake weed
So anyway, there's my bitching for the night. I've been getting killed a lot lately. I haven't been like winning many battles for some reason. I mean, that reason could be I suck, but valid reason. So you see at the bottom I have a purple bar, and you see that little mark that has a moon? That's as high as the bonus XP goes. Once I get the XP up to that mark, then uh, it goes back to just regular XP experience gain, so... Uh, he's over there. Looks like he's doing the I want Lakeweed too. Five more. Two, three, four. Five. Okay, now what? Clear branches. A lot of times, I think it was two or three times when I came out of the home cave in this area. There was a full-grown Triceratops. I don't know. That guy's goal, apparently, was just to keep everybody away from this area. Because he would just chase after everyone. No idea. Just being a dick. Yeah, the weak ankle situation in this game, that's the part, one of the parts of this that bugs me the most is that the game, the, it, it's like the devs kind of feel that dinos can't jump. So pretty much all dinos, there are some, of course, small ones like raptors and stuff, but for the most part, the dinos, when they jump down a little hill, they hurt themselves. It's like every dino has weak ankles. Especially ones like Allosaurus. They were very muscular legs and everything, and they just like, every time you jump down something, it's like, eh! Like, really? I guess I could see it on some of the heavier stuff, like Triceratops and things like that, but. An active hunter like Allosaurus jumping down going, Ugh, I hurt my ankle. Come on. How did they ever catch anything if that was the case? near home cave is Treble.
I've been um, grabbing all those Twitch World of Warcraft World of Warcraft drops. Let me fit through here. Please, 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 yes. And I mean, it's a neat thing, I guess, and I like getting free stuff. Who doesn't like getting free stuff for the games they play? Everyone. But I don't know about the system. Like, I don't know how really it benefits the streamer. I guess. I guess. But for me, I I find one that's doing the drop stream and I turn it on and mute them and minimize them. <laughs> I don't watch them. I just let it run until I get the bonus to, to drop. such a pain to find the way down. Hey, we didn't hurt our ankles. Awesome. But sometimes that little jump like that would be... trap. <laughs> Also, I this so the Carno is one of my favorite dinosaurs. I think they're I think it's just cool. This predator that has horns on its head. I think it's kind of neat. Easily one of my favorite um, dinos. They're kind of weak and weak sauce in uh, Ark. They're kind of like they're kind of like the first real like other than a raptor, and arguably a raptor is probably better. But they're kind of one of the first dinos you get, and they're kind of weak. There's a mod called the Better Dino Mod in Arc that makes them better. They're a little bit better with that. And then the mod Paleo Arc, Paleo Editions or Paleo Arc, I can't remember, added a their own version of a of the Carno, and it's much better looking. It's not as realistic. It's kind of got exaggerated horns a bit. Um, but I like this this dino, and I find though on this game, it shows them in the in the um, when you're making one, it shows the different gra bars of what it's good at, and land speed is really high. It's like maxed, and I don't really like the way they do those bars because it's not realistic. It shows the bar going all the way up, all the way up to fast as everything. And so when you compare it to like the fastest dino in the game, it can't even remotely come close to catching it. So how can it say it's at the top? I don't, I don't understand that. And I need to find some leachy spots. Um, so I wish it was a little bit more realistic because what, and, and what I find is, and also 
if you played Path of Titans, you can change the type of, like say I make a Carno, you can make it plus defense or plus speed and changing those doesn't seem to affect, let's eat some rocks, shall we? Changing those doesn't seem to affect the um, bars at all. Like, you'll show like attack and it'll be like uh, halfway. And you change it to a plus attack and it doesn't change that bar. So I don't know what that bar is representing. They say that the plus or minus is 5%. So it's plus 5% or minus 5%. But that isn't represented on the bar, the little graphs they put at the bottom. So. It just seems like kind of a hokey system of hit. And I find that when I'm playing this character, if I'm running from something, I always get caught. So I don't know how it's fast when stuff's catching me. I don't know. And on the other hand, I was playing a um, that feathered T-Rex, the smaller feathered T-Rex, and I was running from a Carno, and it caught me easy so I don't maybe it's me I don't know I mean all you can do is sprint right so now we're full we've got that salt water thing meaning we we're over salted which once we get to the other map you'll see um there's actual salt water on there. I, it's become such a habit for me now that I'll, even on this map where I know there is no salt water, I'll walk up to the water and check first. Because if you drink salt water, it's bad. All right, so we're after the lychee. I oh, heard some footsteps. That's not Sometimes it's, you get yourself mixed up. You like you think, "What the hell was that?" And it's you. It's you. I don't see any lychee, and in fact, we are in pines now. Pines are not where lychee is. You have to be in the big redwoods. Maybe we got to cross over here. So I was playing this guy the other night and I got ganged up on hardcore. It was um, a packy. Well, so it was one of those, I can't remember what they're called. They're a predator, they're like a raptor, except they got a big hump on their back. They're like a con covenor, I don't know, something, I, I don't know what they're called. <clears throat> and I got attacked by one of them. I wasn't being the aggressor. I was just like doing quests and he came up and attacked me. So I fought back and then all of a sudden this Packy and a Stegosaurus show up and they side with him rather than me. I don't know if they were all together like friends, but they all decided that I was the one in the wrong and started attacking me like, hey, guys, I'm defending myself. Almost done. It's kind of hard to steer. Okay, so that fills our bar. So we can take him home. So where is home? Where's the closest home? Pretty much back where we were. We can't swim out to this. We will definitely die. We don't really want to wake up here. This is a um, hot spot. So I guess we'll head back to the house. Which is this way. 
head back to the home cave we started at. You kind of get in a loop doing that. You kind of end up always doing the same quest and then going back. But we're just trying to get into sub-adult here. So he's got this charge ability, if you see I have it on the number one. He's got the horns, he can charge like a bull. And I tried it out when I was getting attacked by that group and I hit the raptor-like creature. And he went airborne. <laughs> I was surprised. He like flew back a ways. So it's kind of a cool attack. to run because if I run then when I get attacked I don't have any stamina left to do anything with I just had a little bit of a hitch I can feel it it's like a bit of a lag when a person is near it's like just a little tiny little tick of a lag and it's like you can kind of tell someone's around I don't play super aggressively and, and I get this kind of like it's like I'm a car guy I have nice cars a couple of them and I don't like them getting messed up so that means I don't do a lot with them which is kind of defeats the whole purpose and it's just, I feel the same way in this game it's like once I get into adult if you get hurt or killed you go back to sub adult and I don't want to do that, so I end up going, okay, it's an adult, now I'm going to park it in the garage and cover it with the car cover, and we don't play with it anymore. That's kind of what happens. And I go get a young one and start a new, which isn't what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the adults out and then enjoy them and fight. But I don't do that much. I do sometimes. Sometimes these home caves, it's just like you're on top of it, you're below it, you're you can see it but you can't get to it. It's like Like on this one, I'm on top of it right here, I think. And now that they have that debuff happening when you're near the home cave, I like it. Like I like get super paranoid because I want to get into the home cave before that debuff kicks in. I don't really know the radius, like how close, and like so I'm always like paranoid, like get to the cave, damn it. Okay, 
So that's one down, one bonus filled. So the XP bonus is full. We can go on to the next dino. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, we could do this guy. Like I said, I'm, I'm not, after having some bad experiences with it, it is so freaking slow. I have it set to be heavy armor, heavy skin, heavy hide. So it's super slow. Which has, I've, I've won a few fights because of that, but last night with that Megalon, with that Meg, it poisoned me and then I was just hosed. All the stamina goes away and you're just like sitting on the ground going, well, eat me, you know? Um, and then I'm not playing this Rex on here, I'm playing it on the other map. So that, we could either do this one or switch to the other map where I have more, way more to do. Yeah, let's just switch. To, let's switch to the other map. Okay, here's Gondwa. Gondwa. Is that how you pronounce it? Gondwa. Come to Gondwa. Hey, we can start with this. This is the super chill one, though. It's really boring because there's nothing out here. I found out why last night too. Um, yeah, so all of these are not adults. So. Um, we could do this guy, I guess. Flyers are kind of fun. There's a player near the home cave. I don't care, I can fly. That's a thing. Is this salt or is this? Full. So I need some meat. Where am I at right now? Okay, I know there's a corpse there. So we could just follow that up, actually. I really like that area, too. That big quail lake. That one's pretty cool. God, I wish I'm almost out of stam. I don't know why, but I'm really looking forward to them adding these to the main map, the, or not the main map, the old map. I've heard they're going to do that. They're going to add that in the, uh, I don't know, plesiosaur. That's not what it's called, but it's what it is, kind of. So, ooh, there's a... See that spino down there? Yikes. Spino! I have a quest to pick flowers right now, but... flowers up here sometimes there are in these hills we can do that real quick look at our um why is my bonus so low maybe it's, maybe it'll be more once i switch over if if i switch over
Oh, one more flower? Come on. Over there. Now we need button mushrooms. That is not button mushrooms. Overall, I like the flyer. I can't wait till them. They're adding more. They are going to add more. Adding more flyers. They're going to be adding more swimmers too. The, I'm pretty sure there's mosasaur-looking things, because that's kind of the problem with the ocean right now. What was that? hear it. I didn't make that sound. Um, but anyway, that's the problem with the ocean right now is that I found out last night, I was like playing and I was like, why aren't there any spinos or sarcos out here in the ocean? And somebody said, because right now they can't do any of the quests out there. I can hear something and I can't see it. So basically, um, just been another flyer. So basically, if a sarco or a spino was to swim out in the ocean where the plesiosaurs are, there is nothing for them to do other than kill them, you know, get in fights. But I've heard they are going to fix that, maybe. Because I don't see why they couldn't do this quest, you know? No reason. Tiger nuts. If you're wondering what tiger nuts, these, these tiger nuts. By the way, congratulations to us. We are adolescent. You look exactly the same. <laughs> Some more nuts down there. You see people in the chat complaining about birds. Everyone hates them. I 
like playing them quite a bit, but I um, have not really ran into too many times where someone as a bird was trying to mess with me. To uh, rest. Okay, now we're looking for acorns. Just saw some. Where the hell did I see them? Down here? I don't think so. Then we have to leave and get some food here soon. I don't mean the stream, I mean the character. I already ate dinner. Straight ahead, I guess, and let's get some water and food. Come on, there we go. I'm not really sure on the gliding thing. Go to the same speed, or what are the bonuses of gliding? I'm just real certain. Well, then I guess you're not making a lot of noise. Almost there. Almost to Big Quail Lake. Which is an interesting name because I don't think there was quails back in dinosaur time. So I'm not sure exactly why they called it Big Quail Lake. There's a carcass on the other side of that rock unless it's been used up and despawned. But that's usually where I go get some food. I would like to be full of stamina when I attempt this so that if I have to get out of there, I hopefully can. That's one of the advantages of playing a completely wuss character is that you know where you stand. Like I have to be afraid of everything. There's a Megalania right there. Just jumped into the water. I should have waited and gotten the buff, the bonus for finding food. But you have to wait till you get like way down. Come on, I'm eating real slow.
I can get up here. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I saw him jump into the water. It's just a young one, but this thing, quite honestly, the only attack it has is this. That is it. That's not enough. Megalania will poison you, you'll run out of stamina, you can't fly, you're dead. That's pretty much what would happen there. So, the old saying, be quick or be dead, I was quick. So we got a little bit of food. That'll respawn eventually. Need some water. I never know about the other flyers. Like, I never know if they're gonna be cool or if they're gonna attack me. I just, I trust nothing. Oh yeah, flyers can swim. Which at first really bugged me. I was like, what? But it's actually kind of nice. Clear branches. So I was really stumbling on this. Clear branches. Because in the other other map, you would find branches pretty much in the river. Or along like the side of the water. We got footsteps somewhere. So I would be like looking for branches along the side of the lake and I could not find any branches. And then yesterday I just happened to stumble across them. So I was asking people in the chat, I was like, are they different looking than the other map? And they were like, no. And like, yes, they are. <laughs> they are different. Okay, guys, give me one second. I am I'm getting a call. Just give me a sec.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That's what happens when things are live. So clear branches. Right there. Just random branches on the ground. There's definitely something around. What is the deal? I'm like constantly hearing things and not seeing it. Lots of stomping everywhere. <laughs> Oops. Okay, that can happen. They look so awkward. <laughs> like a, it's like a lady holding up her dress or something as the way it walks around. Stomping is so loud considering it's more branches. Uh oh. We're out of stamina.
more branches. Oh, here's some. Good. Okay, that cleans up this guy. He's done. Let's, um, look, let's see, okay. Straight ahead is a home cave. We'll put him away. I think I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. That w that phone call was my partner. She's saying she's almost home. So, like any good partner, I need to make some time for her. So, I will finish the rest of these guys later. And I'll stream it. As soon as I uh, get some time to pick up the other guys on this map, we'll hit those too. And if you miss any of this great leveling action, I upload all my streams raw, unedited. I make it sound like it's cool, but it's really because I don't have time to edit it. Um, Raw and unedited, I upload them all to my YouTube channel, Cursedon. You can pick up every, pick up right where you left off. If you'd like to know when I am streaming, you can follow me at Twitter, at Cursedon1. Also, if you like to uh, look at pretty pictures of games, there's Cursed Dawn on Instagram. Why do I call it Cursed Dawn? Because I am not a morning person. That's why it is Cursed Dawn late night gaming and not early breakfast gaming. Crap, 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 crap. This is a bad place to have not have any stamina. Why, you fool? There you go. We are safe and sound. Two successful up level ups. Bonuses. No deaths involved. That's nice. That's a nice change. All right. Thanks everyone for joining me. Um, hopefully I'll do more tonight. Maybe if not, like I said, if it's another day, you can always catch the uh, streams on YouTube. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Starting another week. Ugh. Okay. Bye-bye.